this one problem I have with the day in, but uh, the wild inaccuracy. So look at what's coming in from. Sorry, look at what's coming in from the PV inverter 36, right? On the 260, right? So from PV 260 plus 36, that's 296, right? Consumption 355. Yeah, it's charging the battery with 27 watts. So how is that possible? If you look at the numbers, our consumption is higher than our production, yet the batteries are being charged. One wild swing with the air that I, I'm yet to explain. It's still happening, so it's not an aberration. So you see 493, um, 489, so 400 here, 89 there, 86 there, 452 our consumption. And it's putting 120 watts into the batteries. How is that possible? I have no clue. So something is wrong with the way the air reads information. That information is super exaggerated. Same thing with the production. I want to show you when, when the sun comes out even higher. And we had the cloud effect to show you how it, what it does as well. It just has this weird way of processing information, which makes no sense. Day two on my observations with um, the day. So look, um, 161 is what's coming in. Our PV inverter is only producing one, as you can see. Our consumption is 332. And you see, we're only pulling 83 watts out. If you add those numbers out, we're only discharging battery by 80 watts. 330. 340 in consumption. Um, minus 170 is not 80 watts. So, we'll keep looking at this, and I think this is a comment we'll make today and ask them how they intend to correct it. Hello, YouTube. Dr. Sole again. So, a few last week I shot a bunch of videos and I'm going to uh, attach them to this that showed some discrepancies that I find with the day. So, today is the 17th, and um, as you can see, I have 380 coming from my, my panels and I have 124 coming from my uh, PV inverter. So if you add those two numbers up, 120 to 380 is 500, right? My consumption is 300. So what I should see going to my batteries should be about 200 watts, right? And if I add 50 watts for self-consumption, should be less than that. Yet what do you see here? You see 300 watts going to my batteries. So this has been a discrepancy we've been fighting with. Uh, this inverter does a lot well, but I'm not so sure when we look at the accuracy of the information that comes from the year that that information is correct. Um, our PV production, I don't know if I'll call it over optimistic or inaccurate. And then when you look at our battery, when you look at what's going into our batteries, um, that number doesn't match. So I don't know if it's reading what the um the battery bms is telling it or is it reading what the inverter itself is saying so let's look at the bms so bms battery current right now is five amps so five amps times 50 volts is 250. um well it's a little less than 250 two five times nine fourteen five times nine forty five five times four twenty two forty two forty so about two forty five is what the BMS is showing and here it's showing 313 so the BMS data is different from the data we're seeing here I did the math in my head so if I'm incorrect please let me know so if anyone else is experiencing this with the day here let me uh, please uh, post your comments and then what I'll do is I'll talk to the year and ask them how we can correct this this once again this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. Thank you for watching. 
if you've not subscribed please click the subscribe button if you like uh, the content uh, click the like click the like uh, whatever the like thing is click it the like thingy